we had seen how can we place distillation column with respect to the process. So if I have a process which is having QH minimum and QC minimum requirement and if I want to serve reboiler and condenser of a distillation column by that process, how would I place the distillation column? So if the distillation column is placed across the pitch that is like this, right? What happens is that the process gives reboiler uh, the energy but the energy is received from the sink right and it gives back to the process but below pitch where the process is source so basically it is a double blow to the process because it is you know losing q reboiler from the sink and receiving the q condenser at the source so ultimately your reboiler and condenser utility which was directly supplied to the distillation column will now be supplied to the process and then process transfers that energy to the distillation column. So as far as energy saving is concerned, there is no energy saving. On top of it, the Q reboiler which was supplied at a lesser temperature will now be supplied at a higher temperature. Q condenser which was to be released at a higher temperature will now be supplied at a lower temperature. And as we know that for any utility, we require the colder hot utility and hotter cold utility that will only save your you know money in terms of utility cost so the same is shown here with various intervals so since we require to pass on the energy and from this point we remove q reboiler energy to maintain the energy balance we have added q reboiler uh, amount here and same way we add q condenser here so this point onward we have q condenser adding so Placing column across the pinch will not help the cause of saving energy. If the column is placed above or below pinch, yes, certainly we can save energy. As we can see here that this column is placed above the pinch, it receives the energy from the sink, but then it gives it back. And since Q reboiler and Q condenser are of the same magnitude, there is practically no change in QH minimum. So in this case, if I combined the integrated distillation column and the process, my requirement of energy will be QH minimum and QC minimum. As against that, if it is a separate uh, process and column, it would be QH minimum plus QC minimum plus Q reboiler plus Q condenser. And in the same way, if I have a column placed below the pinch, that is boiling point of like reboiler and condenser, both the temperatures are below pinch point, then my requirement of the energy after integration becomes QH minimum and QC minimum because Q condenser and Q reboiler are more or less same. But if it is separate, it is QH minimum plus QC minimum plus Q reboiler plus Q condenser. So we can save energy if the column is placed either above or below the pinch. Let us see it with respect to the energy intervals within the process and the column. So this is your process. So first interval is Q1. So QH minimum goes to Q1, then that goes to Q2, then goes to Q3, right? This, when we integrate with the column, what happens is that we remove Q reboiler. Since we remove Q re reboiler, that much amount of energy should be added here. So Q1 plus Q reboiler, right? And since we are going to add Q condenser here, the overall energy balance to maintain the temperature, the equation becomes QH minimum plus Q reboiler minus Q condenser. So this is Q1 plus Q reboiler minus Q condenser. This will be Q2 minus Q condenser. And since it receives Q condenser back from this point onwards, it becomes Q3 and here it is zero. What we must make sure that at every interval, the values of the energy which is transferred must remain positive. There cannot be a negative value and only at a pinch point, it should be zero. In the same way, when we have a column which is below pinch, we remove Q reboiler. So this will be Q5 minus Q reboiler, Q6 minus Q reboiler plus Q condenser. And this is QC minimum plus Q condenser minus Q reboiler. So either our column will be placed above pinch or it will be below pinch. Now there are certain operational issues. If, you, if we integrate both reboiler and condenser of the column with the process, naturally it will be difficult to start or shut down the column, right? So, in order to, you know, uh, avoid this, we may integrate only one of the, you know, reboiler or condenser. So, if both condenser and reboiler are integrated, 
the process uh, will have an issue in terms of controlling. So above pinch, we integrate revolver with utility, like we, we supply revolver with utility and integrate only condenser. That is this. So this serves the same purpose. As we can see, the column is supplied with revolver utility and condenser duty will be given back to the uh, you know process. So if I look at here, this will be QH minimum minus Q condenser, Q1 minus Q condenser, Q2 minus Q condenser, Q3 minus Q condenser, Q4 and Q5 would be zero. So ultimately the energy requirement combinedly for process and column would remain QH minimum only because Q reboiler and Q condenser are more, more or less same. So QH minimum minus QC conden minus Q condenser plus Q reboiler would make it to be QH minimum. So either we take it from the process and give it back and add QH minimum here or like oh, sorry or, or add Q reboiler here or we supply Q reboiler separately with the column and give Q condenser back to the process right uh, as far as calculation of energy is concerned it is same but operationally it will make your distillation column independent of uh, process partially independent of the process and in the same way if the column is placed below the pinch we integrate the reboiler and we supply the utility to the condenser but in both the cases the amount of energy required overall combinedly for the process and distillation column would reduce to QH minimum and QC minimum. The other aspect is the heat load. So there is a limit on the heat that can be obtained from the process, right? Like one thing is for sure, as I told you, that when, when uh, energy is passed from one uh, temperature interval to other temperature interval, it cannot go negative. So there has to be at always, every time, there has to be a sufficient load. Secondly, it should not be so low that the temperature difference between the two intervals goes down to very le less value or it requires a very high amount of uh, energy transfer area. So sufficient heat load must remain present at all temperature intervals. What I mean by that is that at no given time, Q reboiler and Q condenser should be such that you are, you know, this, any of these values goes down below zero. So Q2 and Q condenser should have a sufficient difference. Like you cannot extract very high amount of energy from the process, leading process to have a negative transfer of energy. So that is something which we have to keep in mind while we design the exchange between process and the distillation column. This can also be seen by doing this. So Q condenser in this case, in this particular case, should not be so high that either Q1 minus Q condenser or Q2 minus Q condenser or Q3 minus Q condenser becomes less than zero or it should not be zero even <coughs> because it has to be zero only at a pinch point and in the same way below the pinch if you integrate it with reboiler then reboiler duty should not be so high that any of the interval you know uh, becomes zero or less than zero correct so that is something which we should know of while we integrate distillation column with the process when we meet next time we'll be talking about how GCC uh, should help us in integrating the distillation column, right? And uh, how do we know that what is the amount which we can exchange between the process and distillation column with the help of GCC? Thank you.